Well, the, in the upcoming debate, I think everybody has the same agenda, which is to introduce themselves to uh, the voters. I don't think anybody uh, is that well known statewide. Uh, Elizabeth Warren has been getting a lot of uh, bump, uh, so she may be the best known, and as, as a result, she may be the one who uh, is uh, at more jeopardy. Uh, she can't uh, foul up, and she probably will be the target uh, for the other candidates. In terms of the candidates, it's all about Elizabeth Warren, at least as far as the media is concerned. Um, she is the heroine du jour, uh, the great savior for Ted Kennedy's seat. The only problem is she is totally untested as a candidate, and really I doubt if this debate will be very much of a test for her. Um, the media has really anointed her the nominee. Uh, the voters, I don't think, really have much of a clue except for what they read in the Boston Globe. Uh, which has really been sort of a press agent for her. The other top-tier candidate is Alan Casey, who seems like a grizzled veteran since he was in a Demo the Democratic primary for the s in the special election last year for this seat. He needs to go out and prove that, number one, he can be as interesting and as engaging as Elizabeth Warren, and number two, that he's got the substance and he's got the ability to go and compete with Scott Brown. What he'll probably do as far as di differentiating himself from Elizabeth Warren is try to paint her as an insider, a Washington insider. She's been involved with the Obama administration in a couple of different capacities. And I think what he's going to do is try to say, I'm the outsider, she's the insider. And what Washington doesn't need is any more insiders at this point. It'll be an interesting uh, a battle between the two for positioning.